Pompeo spoke about Trump's readiness to start a war with Turkey. There is no talk of a full-fledged gap between Ankara and Washington, however. American diplomacy continues to amaze. This time, as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was surprised, who made it clear that President Trump was fully prepared to take military action against Turkey and Syria if necessary. These words were made shortly before the time allotted for the withdrawal of Kurdish troops from the 30-kilometer strip along the Turkish-Syrian border had expired. We prefer peace to war, the head of the State Department told CB. But if you need dynamic action or military action, you should know that President Trump is fully prepared to take such action. It is worth noting that the threat of Turkey to the head of American diplomacy was not directly expressed. However, there is hardly any doubt that Ankara became the primary addressee of Pompeo's statements. In short, a shelf of conflicting statements by Washington on the situation in northern Syria has arrived. Then the US president threatens Ankara with total economic ruin and calls on Erdogan to not be a fool, but to stop his offensive against the Kurds in Syria. That Trump announces the withdrawal of US troops located in the Syrian northern regions, which is regarded as the inclusion of a green light for the Turkish invasion. The delegation sent by the White House to Turkey with Vice President Pence at the head reaches an agreement with Erdogan to suspend Operation Source of Peace for 120 hours, in exchange for the termination of anti-Turkish sanctions if the agreements are successful. Actually, the meaning of the warlike message from Washington is quite clear. This is a kind of response to the no less belligerent statements of the Turkish leadership, promising to show the Kuskiness mother to the Kurds if they don't leave their positions in the areas bordering Turkey by the agreed deadline. The White House is trying to hint to the Turks so that they can control themselves after the suspension has expired, if the Americans optimistically called it a truce, then the Turks spoke more prudently about a pause in their operation against Kurdish troops considered to be us allies. It is doubtful, however, that Erdogan will be greatly impressed by the threat voiced by Mike Pompeo, which sounded on the eve of the Sochi meeting between the presidents of Russia and Turkey. Moreover, Erdogan, who went beyond the status of an obedient ally in NATO, is seriously considering turning his country into a nuclear power. So attempts to intimidate him from Washington to the Turkish leader are only at hand. It is quite obvious that the Americans will not undertake any military attacks on Turkey and, it seems, do not even think to undertake. Moreover, before Trump openly stated that the United States would not fit in for the Kurds, the Kurds did not help us in World War I. And in a CBE interview, Pompeo refused to identify the red line, for violation of which America's military might be turned against Ankara. It is clear from the Secretary of State's words that the White House will focus on economic and diplomatic pressure on the Turks. But in any case, the threat to the traditional ally is a noteworthy moment. True, it is also worth noting that the North Atlantic spirit of alliance did not in the past prevent the emergence of acute moments between the members of the alliance. For example, you can recall a number of border incidents between the same Turkey and Greece. But, of course, the matter didn't reach the direct use of military force, which Washington is talking about. In the end, no one cancelled the fifth article of the North Atlantic Treaty, the meaning of which is reduced to the principle of one for all and all for one. True, the fifth article does not answer the question, what if the military conflict breaks out between NATO members? Be that as it may, there is no talk of a full-fledged gap between Ankara and Washington. It is unlikely that the matter will reach Turkey's exit from NATO, and we cannot exclude the possibility that in the coming days, having managed to exchange new angry and acrimonious attacks, Erdogan and Trump will rush into each other's arms. Well, what about loud statements and threats? So it's cute scolding, just amuse.